Okay, thank you, uh, Melissa. Then I will start at this moment because I do not know exactly how much time the translation will take in this uh, series of questions. So I just say hello, everyone. This is Bertus Husken, Papa Echo One Kilo Echo Hotel in Eindhoven in the Netherlands. Together with Leszek Jakubowski, Sierra Queen Three Papa Hotel Alpha, who is present at the school in Poznan, Poland, and Miss Agnieszka Rebecca is going to translate our introduction into Polish, and I will be your radio amateur operator for today. Szanowni Państwo, witam Państwa bardzo serdecznie. Nazywam się Bertu Szyszkiem i mówię do Państwa z Państwem z Holandii, jednak wywoła w końcu Baba Ewy z Lucio E. Hotel i będę dzisiaj moderował dzisiejsze połączenie. Towarzyszy mi Pan Leszek Jakubowski, znak wywoła się z Pierapin przy Baba Hotel Alfa oraz Pani Agnieszka Rybarska, która będzie z nami dzisiaj umarła. Ok. Through the help of amateur radio volunteers and the crew on ISS, we hope to soon establish a ham radio contact with the International Space Station, as it flies more than 400 kilometers above the Earth over Northern California. This all is accomplished with ARES, amateur radio on the International Space Station. Dzięki pomocy wolontariuszy krótkofalowców oraz załogi ISL chcielibyśmy na niej nawiązać kontakt z Międzynarodową Stacją Publiczną, która obecnie porusza się na wysokości 400 km nad ziemią, w tej chwili nad Kalifornią, w Stanach Zjednoczonych. I wszystko to jest możliwe dzięki ARIS. ARIS to jest akronim, który można się tłumaczyć na język polski jako sprzęt krótkofalarki albo krótkofalarstwo na pokładzie Międzynarodowej Stacji Publicznej. Over to you, Bertus. The space station is currently flying over the Pacific Ocean, just below Alaska, whistling along at about uh, 27,600 kilometers an hour. Over to you, Bertus. The contact will be performed, performed using the amateur radio telebridge network. This amateur radio telebridge network is a worldwide network of amateur radio ground stations that enables students to contact the International Space Station. Over to you, Bert. Thank you. ARES is an international consortium of ham radio volunteers that develop and operate the amateur radio station on the International Space Station. Important members of ARES are the American Radio Relay League, the worldwide AMSAT radio amateur satellite corporations like CSA, the Canadian Space Agency, ESA, the European Space Agency, JAXA, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, together with Roscosmos, the Russian Federal Space Agency. ARIS is a international consortium of and organizations of Our sponsors 
are the center for the advancement of science in space cases and NASA Space Communication and Navigation Organization. Naszymi sponsorami są Casey, czyli Centrum Postępu Naukowego w Kosmosie, a także działają zawsze NASA Organizacja SCAN, czyli Nawigacja i Komunikacja Kosmiczna. Over to you, Bert. The amateur radio ground station will be established, uh, will establish the contact for today with ISS. It is W6SRJ in Santa Rosa, California. It is operated by Bill Hillendahl, Kilo Hotel 6, Golf Juliet Victor, and Don Dalby, Kilo Echo 6, Uniform Alpha Yankee. Thank you for helping us out, uh, Bill and Don. Thank you. It's Tim Bosma at W6NU. Hello, Tom. Yeah. Uh, Tim. Yeah, Tim. Uh, doing fine up here. Uh, Santa Rosa Junior College, about 50 miles north of San Francisco, in the middle of wine country, at our amateur radio station on Santa Rosa Junior College campus. Back to you. Okay. Uh, for this moment, back for moment. translation. Yes, we need a moment for translation. Okay. Dzisiaj na wiążemy łączność dzięki stacji znajdującej się w Santa Rosa, w naszym wywoławcy Whisky Szekspiera Rodolfie, której operatorami są Kim Bosma oraz Don Dali, w naszym wywoławcy Kilo Hotel 6 Go Drugie Wiktor i Kilo Echo 6 Intro Alfa Janki. I teraz głos przejął wiosk i mówi, że pozdrawiają nas bardzo serdecznie, znajdując się w Santa Rosa około 50 km na północ od San Francisco, w samym sercu krainy z innym Kalifornii. Okay, over to you, Bert. Our contact for today is with Ricky Arnold, Kilo Echo 5 Delta Alpha Uniform, who will be operating NAISS, NA1SS, I should say, on board the International Space Station. Nawiążemy dzisiaj kontakt z astronautą Ricky Arnoldem, astronautą NASA którego nazywać wywołać, czyli Kilo Ewo 5 Delta Alpha Uniform, który obsługuje sprzęt wykopalaczy na Układzie Międzynarodowej Stacji Kosmicznej i nazwy wywoławcy Nowatek Alpha 1 z Pierakiem. Over to you, Bert. Ricky Arnold will be taking, uh, talking to students from the Janusz Kuczynski Primary School No. 71 in Poznan, Poland. Your other school mentor for this contact is Armand Buzianowski, Sierra Papa 3, Quebec Foxtrot Echo. Wiki będzie rozmawiał z naszą szkołą, szkołą podstawową numer 71 imienia Jurzek Kuczyńskiego, a literatura mentorem tego połączenia będzie pan Armand Over to you, Bert. Okay, we are. Quite good on time, I believe. Still uh, seven, eight minutes to go. The educational program for the participation, uh, participating children at the school in Postnam will be explained by the coordinating teacher, Miss Agnieszka Tukarczuk. Charity, the biggest non-governmental, non-profit charity organization in Poland. 
Ďakujem sa všetko sa povedem, že len by som predal zmienil, že sa to týkne poznáno. Podľa je to pani Oriánto, za hodný bod, to je to všetko v univerzitecky, kulturálne, gospodárske. Jesteśmy w dzisiejszym roku z szkołą publiczną, do której wykańczają uczniowie od 6 do 15 lat. W tej chwili szkoła ma 460 uczniów, a w tym pomieszczeniu znajduje się około 100 osób. W trakcie programu, który jest astronauta, uczniowie uczyli się, jak zdobywać wiedzę o badaniach kosmosu, geologii, o tym, jak wykorzystuje się technologie kosmiczne, na przykład geologii. Uczyli się także nawiązywać łączność radiową, a pomagali na tym członkowie wolnych duszach, klubu Kierakowa 3, Miłki i Oskar Prowio. Jeszcze jako szkoła jesteśmy bardzo dumni z tego, że co roku w naszej szkole działa bardzo duży szarp, jest jej opiek 30, czyli mocy, która jest największą pozarządową, charytatywną organizacją w Polsce. Ok, over to you, Bertus. Ok, thank you, Lysiak. We still have uh, some more time than I, than I expected, three minutes spare, but let's go to uh, Tim Bosma at this moment to tell us about the station. He already did a little. Maybe you can explain some more how you operate this and what your equipment is. Go ahead, uh, Tim. Yeah, good morning. Um, well, we've got, uh, let's see. AOS is right at 4.07, so we've got about six minutes and 15 seconds before uh, we'll start calling in about uh, five minutes. <clears throat> and Don Dalby, KE6UAY, is going to be the operator. I'm just going to be his backup uh, watching the rotor systems and making sure the antennas are uh, pointed in the right direction and helping Don uh, do the contact. So uh, the radios here uh, have been checked and we're all set and uh, the antennas are all set. So um, <clears throat> basically, like I said, we'll start calling. Don will start calling. And when you do that, uh, he, you're going to hear this white noise. Uh, I'm going to give you a sample of it right now. Okay, you'll hear that noise uh, between the time you hear Don calling. And... Uh, Once we establish contact, uh, he will tell the first student uh, to go ahead to, uh, with a question. So uh, the first student needs to be, uh, as soon as Don starts calling, the first student needs to be ready to go. Okay? Uh, thank you, Don and Bill. Please translate this. Dzień dobry, witam wszystkich bardzo serdecznie. Nazywam się Bosna. Witam wszystkich z Santa Rosa w Kalifornii. Za około 6 minut 15 sekund nawiążemy łączność. Moim operatorem dzisiejszego połączenia będzie Don Dolby. Ja jestem jego zastępcą. Moim zastępcą. Moim zadaniem jest upewnić się, że cały sprzęt działa prawidłowo. Moim zadaniem jest również ustawić anteny na kierunku, który będzie umożliwiał nawiązanie połączenia. Wszystko sprawdziliśmy, sprzęt działa dobrze. Więc za około 5 minut już teraz będziemy kontaktować się z stacją. Słyszeli Państwo taki szum. To jest dźwięk, który będą Państwo słyszeć, kiedy dom będzie nawiązywał połączenie z Likiem Arnoldem. I kiedy już nawiążemy to połączenie, bardzo proszę, żeby pierwszy uczeń zadał pytanie. Ok. Ok, Bertus. It's translated. Yes, we still have four minutes to go. Okay, on my paper it says two minutes, but okay. Please remember that what we are doing today on ISS is an experiment. So we can never tell the results, positive or negative, until the experiment is over. And for all the attendees that will be talking to the astronaut Ricky Arnold today, do not forget to say over at the end of your question. Zostały nam około 4 minuty, a z mojej dwie minuty, ale chyba jednak 4. Dlatego jeszcze raz chciałbym Państwu przypomnieć, że to, co robimy dzisiaj, to jest eksperyment. A nigdy nie wiadomo, czy eksperyment się uda, czy też nie, więc musimy o tym pamiętać. I jeszcze jedna bardzo ważna informacja. Kiedy dzieci będą zadawały pytanie Rikiemu Arnoldowi, bardzo ważne jest to, żeby na końcu każdego pytania powiedziały over. Okay. So there are still a few minutes. If there is any other question, uh, please let me hear it. 
Um, so let me just uh, remind about uh, no applause during the call. Jeszcze raz przypominam o braku oklatków, prosimy o absolutną ciszę, a do końca połączenia. All right. Indeed, you are right, uh, Leszek. Uh, please, everyone, be silent at the beginning because it is very hard for the astronauts to understand. Uh, I am not sure how they always hear us. So uh, maybe we already go to Bill and Tim at this moment and wait for what's coming. Uh, so it's all yours, uh, Tim and Bill. Jeszcze raz, proszę Państwa, o ciszę na początku połączenia to jest bardzo ważne, ponieważ astronautom ciężko jest usłyszeć, co mówimy, dlatego bardzo proszę o zachowanie ciszy, a teraz już przeniesiemy się do Bila, do Santa Rosa. Ok, over to you guys. Don, can you hear us? Uh, we hear you. All right. I guess better to pass the bike over to you guys. Okay. Okay. We still I'm have listening, a and here. I see there's only one minute left now. Usually, ISS is coming something early. I learned, so maybe we start calling early. Sure. Uh, sometimes they're 30 seconds early. Start now. Are we ready? Are you going to hear the static? NA1SS, this is W6SRJ. Over. NA1SS, this is W6SRJ. Over. It's nice to hear you again over Poland. Over. I hear you loud and clear. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. I'm Zosia. What was your path to becoming an astronaut? Over. I uh, studied uh, marine science, uh, went to graduate school in marine science. I also worked as a, uh, a teacher, uh, teaching math and science for a number of years before becoming an astronaut. Over. Hi, am Zosia. What research conducted currently on the ISS has been undertaken in preparation for the exploration of destinations via low Earth orbit? Over. We do a lot of that research uh, right now. Uh, we do a lot of research on the impact to the human body on a microgravity environment. Uh, one thing I'm specifically doing is uh, exercise is very, very important for astronaut health. Um, and we are, I have been testing a mini exercise device, a very small device to help keep our muscles and bones healthy when we leave the solar system. Over. I'm Anya. If you had the chance to travel, travel beyond our solar system to find a new habitat plan for humans, would you do it even if you knew we may never return to the Earth? Over. That's a tough question. The Earth is a beautiful, wonderful place. Um, I would think about it if I could take my family with me. Over. I'm Samira. Does it being in space affect your general perspective on life? Over. 
Uh, I think so. Uh, looking down on this uh, wonderful planet that we all share, you definitely get a sense that uh, all of us all around the world are, are in this together, uh, sharing this, this one uh, remarkable spaceship. Over. I'm Cuba. What surprised you most in space? Over. Um, how beautiful the Earth is and how difficult it is to keep track of your things when they just want to float away from you all the time. Over. I'm Houston now. What ha happens when you get in on the ISS? Over. We work really hard to stay healthy. We all have uh, medical training. Uh, we have doctors on the ground that uh, we can also work with um, if someone does get sick. And we're really fortunate. We happen to have a doctor on board with us right now from Japan. Over. Hi, Sandra. What does your ordinary day in life about the ISS look like? Over. Our day, we wake up in the morning and our day is planned uh, by people on the ground uh, until we go to bed at night. Um, we have a six and a half, seven hours of work planned for us and we exercise about two hours a day. Uh, on the weekends, we clean and uh, we also have a little time off to, to just have some fun and look out the window. Over. Hi, Christoph. For an experienced astronaut as you are, which is the best space movie and which is the worst? Over. That's a tough question. I uh, I enjoy science fiction space movies like Star Trek. Uh, they're, they're some of my favorite. I like the uh, people who think about what it's going to be like in the future. Uh, but for a current space movie, there's a lot of bad ones. I think one of the best ones is Apollo 13. Over. I'm Igor. Has anything dangerous ever happened to you? Over. Um, well, driving in Houston, Texas can be dangerous, but I think you mean in space. So, <laughs> launching on a rocket is a dangerous thing. Doing a spacewalk is a dangerous thing. But we've never, I've never had any really close calls uh, so far while traveling in space. Uh, over. I'm sorry. How do, how do you get Zinky Potter on the ISS? Over. This is something we are doing that I think will really benefit Earth. We gather about 90% of all the liquid waste here on the space station, all the water waste, uh, perspiration, urine, humidity, and we turn it into very pure drinking water. Water is too heavy to launch into orbit, so we want to make our own. Uh, so when we do leave this, uh, head out into the solar system, we, can, we don't have to carry a lot of water with us. We can just keep processing it. Over. I'm Cuba. What do you miss most? Over. Uh, I miss the weather, but I miss most the fam my family. Over. I am Antek. How do astronauts get aboard the ISS? Over. Uh, just like you do on Earth, uh, though the food's not as good, um, we have a dining table where we stand around, we eat food that we can heat up, um, and we also eat food that we rehydrate. Over. I am Elisa. Where does a compact point to in space? Over. The compass on Earth points north because it points uh, it, it points to the north magnetic field. We are still in the magnetic field on Earth, so a compass here would point toward the Earth's uh, north magnetic pole. But as we get closer to the sun and get into the sun's magnetic field, when we head out of space, we will actually point uh, more toward the sun's nor uh, north magnetic pole. Over. I'm Ola. How does taking care of personal hygiene differ from my time in hygiene on the Earth? Over. Uh, we do not have running water, so uh, for from, for taking showers, we don't have the luxury of taking showers. We use wet uh, wet uh, cloths that we are able to wipe off with, and we also use shampoo that does not require any rinsing. Over. And do you ever see collision with any object or space debris? Over. Sometimes at night we can feel the station, uh, space station move, but I think that's more a function of it just, uh, you know, the, the keeping, keeping it pointed in a certain direction. Um, we have never felt, I have never felt any collisions, which is a good thing, although out on spacewalks you can see places where the space station has been hit by small pieces of debris. Over. I have to third scene just for fun on the VSS. Over. Yeah, well, we have some time off. I love to look out the window, take pictures of Earth. Uh, I also enjoy playing a little guitar. We have a couple of guitars up here, and I, just like on Earth, I really like to read, and I do that up here a fair bit as well. Over. 
I'm Mateusz. Is there anything you would like to do right now, although you know that you can't? Over. Uh, apart from uh, hug my family, maybe walk out in the backyard and throw some kobasa on the grill and sit out and just smell it cooking. Over. I'm Kevin. How and where do you sleep? Over. Uh, we sleep, we each have a little uh, uh, cabin, it's about the size of a phone booth, so it's very small. We kind of technically sleep standing up. Um, I sleep probably about six, seven hours a night, sometimes a little more if I'm really tired. Um, and uh, just kind of like we do on Earth, I have a sleeping bag that's kind of, uh, sleeping bag, I don't have a mattress, but the sleeping bag is uh, fixed to the wall. Over. Okay, Ricky, that is the last question from our students, so thank you for your time, thank you for the contact. Well, thank you all so much. It was wonderful, wonderful to visit with you. Appreciate you following along the mission and wish you all the best in the future. Over. 73. Are there any other questions out there? We're still uh, a minute away. Well, there's a nice question from me. Okay. Well, maybe. Maybe the, the man in the, up in there, ISS, has uh, some final words for us. Um, I think I alluded to this. Uh, it's wonderful to have uh, students from Poland on board. The, the International Space Station is an international project. And I think when we leave the, the, uh, the confines of Earth's uh, low Earth orbit and head out into the solar system, we are going to do it as humans. Not as Americans, not as Russians, not as uh, you know, a citizen of any country but as a, a, a human from planet Earth. Over. Well, we thank you. Thank you very much. It was wonderful spending some time with you and wish you all the best. Over. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, and ladies and gentlemen. Say goodbye. What about... Does people want to say goodbye? Big applause from uh, the audience. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Poland uh, looks beautiful from orbit. I hope to visit it one day and see how beautiful it is on the ground. Over. Ricky for the kind words and um, the whole is very excited to hear from you. So once again, thanks. Over. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, together we have shared a moment of history. Ares has helped Ricky Arnold, Kilo Echo 5 Delta Alpha Uniform on the International Space Station. Talk to yourselves, the Janusz Kuszynski, primary school number 71 in Poznan, Poland, using amateur radio station W6SRJ in Santa Rosa, California, being operated by Bill Hillendale, Kilo Hotel 6 Golf Julia Victor, Don Zalvi, Kilo, uh, Kilo Echo 6, Uniform Echo Yankee and Tim Bosma. I regret Tim, I forgot your call. Just a second, guys. We need a moment for translation. Okay, go ahead. Okay, over to you guys. Okay, I can only say congratulations to you all and to all the of the good team you have there in Poland, in Poznan. Thank you for uh, this very nice contact. 
And as usual, uh, I would like to say thank you to everyone. Does anybody want to add something else? Uh, Leszek, Bill, please go ahead. We're good on this end. Podziękować wszystkim, wszystkim serdecznie gratuluję, dziękuję całemu zespołowi tutaj w szkole, dziękuję również Billowi. Czy chcielibyście coś dodać? Leszek Bill, Leszek Bill. Ok, over to you guys. Ok, so uh, guys in uh, W6SRJ, I think you wanted to say something or not. If not, then I have one thing. So I wanted to thank uh, our moderator, uh, thank you very much for moderating the contest. Also, I wanted to thank the team at W6SRJ, uh, so Don, Tim, and Bill. I'd like to thank all the our volunteers, uh, without whom this whole contest would be possible. So, this is the destiny for justice, and the mic will be back to you shortly. Pierwsze, bardzo chciałbym podziękować Wersusowi, naszemu moderatorowi. Chciałbym również podziękować Donowi Kimowi i Billowi za umożliwienie nawiązania tej łączności oraz wszystkim wolontariuszom ARIS, bez których to połączenie nie mogłoby dzisiaj mieć miejsca. Very special thank you to Leszek Jakubowski, all the pillars, 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 a także pillars, the pillars, the pillars, the pillars, the Greetings to all of you 
in amateur radio terms, 73, which means best wishes to all of you. Teraz chciałbym jeszcze raz przekazać serdeczne pozdrowienia z flangu krótkofalowców. 73 oznacza pozdrowienia dla, po pierwsze, Międzynarodowego Zespołu Uchodników w Italii, również dla Światowego Zespołu Antak, a także dla American Radio Relay League, o największe stowarzyszenie krótkofalowców w Stanach Zjednoczonych, o którym już mówiłem. Także naszym sponsorom KCC Sun, o których również wspominałam, a także podziękowania dla agencji kosmicznych też, które już wymieniałem, europejskiej, kanadyjskiej, rosyjskiej, japońskiej i amerykańskiej. Jeszcze raz dziękuję, nazywam się Betty Pyszkiem i moderowałem dzisiaj dla Państwa to połączenie. Ok, thank you. Um, now I go back to the phone operator, Melissa. Thank you very much for the assistance and for your hard work. And please stop the recording. Thank you. And this is the end. Thank you all. Bye bye. Thank you, Thanks, Martin, for everything. Can we disconnect now? Yes, we can. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.